G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $1 coins again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we've got my $1 collection book here, already partly filled with the commemorative coins that we've found so far. I've also got the big Aussie things, or the Aussie big things collectibles, which we finally troubled the score card with a couple of coins last week the big pineapple and the giant murray cod still got quite a few of those to get out of the 10 that came out uh, hopefully we can get them before they all start to disappear because they're not particularly highly minted here in the collection book we're just looking for the changeover coin the 2016 50th anniversary of decimal currency we've got pretty much all the rest in the commemoratives from the Royal Australian Mint. The last one we got was the Qantas Centenary, which is a great grab. Still got a few of these uh, uh, technically uncirculated, but corporate mint uh, coins that have come out in the last few years, the Dinosaurs, the Matildas, and the AFL Premiership Cup seasons. And so we'll put the book aside because we know we're looking for the changeover. Grab some coins and get started into the hunt. As we go through the hunt, I'll mainly be looking through the mob of ruse, just the reverses, just looking for the commemorative coins at this point. And then at the end, I'll go through all the mob of ruse looking for years of low mintage. Oh, and there's one under there. This is the mob of ruse. That's the standard $1 coin. And I'm just looking at that side to see if that is gunk or a lamination peel. This one is from 2004. It looks a bit like a bit of gunk. But that's the mob of ruse that we're looking for. All the reverses. But then the second coin down is a very nice shiny coin. And it is the giant koala from the big Aussie things. And so we got the big pineapple and the giant Murray cod. So this will be new for the book. We have there the, the memorial effigy from 2023. $1 denomination on the obverse. No denomination on this side. And there we see it is from... Dad's Well Bridge, that's up there on the banner, that's where the giant koala is. So that's definitely our first commemorative coin and it's going to be a keeper. And then the next coin is an International Year of Older Persons from 1999. That is a common commemorative and we will put that up on the top row and that'll be our common commemorative row. And as we go through, we'll put all the common commemoratives up there. And we'll put the keepers down the bottom row. Here from 1986 is the very first uh, $1 commemorative coin, the International Year of Peace. The $1 only issued for the first time in 1984, after being a paper note since 1966. Here we have the Dancing Man, the peace coin from the 60th anniversary of the end of World War II from 2005, very highly minted. And so that'll go also up on that row and here's another one in much better condition but still highly minted going to be going back to the bank and there from 2008 we have the centenary of scouting now that common commemorative will go up on the top row and then we will keep continuing through this so 2016, we'll see a lot of these. Unfortunately, the 2016 changeover coin is quite lowly minted, so it's very hard to find those. Here we have a Centenary of Federation from 2001. We always check those for rotation errors. This has a, uh, a wide variety of different rotations, so we always check that one. But it is a common commemorative, so it'll go up on the top row. And then the last coin in the roll is the Centenary of Women's Suffrage from 2003. Also a common commemorative, though, very hard to find in the high grade. That's our first roll for the day done. So we'll get into the next roll. After the third roll, we'll speed the hunt up a little bit because we'll, by then we'll most likely have quite a number of common commemoratives and we'll only slow down for when we see something that's brand new for the day. I'll stop and annotate it like this. This is a 2002 year of the Outback highly minted and then I'll lay it down like that and there we have a 2011 that's the Chogham which is the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Perth Australia 2011 also a highly minted 
commemorative. And they're from 1993, the Land Care Australia. Another highly minted commemorative from very early in the $1 piece. And the APEC Australia from 2007. So we have two coins now that are on the table. APEC Australia. So it's the meeting of the Asian Pacific Economic Corporation, the group, and the Chogham and the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. So two coins that we'd love to talk about. Here we have the 1999 uh, International Year of Older Persons. And I think that does have a cud there between these two uh, what should be ridges is a bit of extra metal and I think this is a particularly decent grade of coin and I'm going to put that aside as a an example of a cud error on that coin so that's going to go down to the side because that'll be kept oh and we have a another commemorative coin this is V for Victor Lawnmower this is from the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two from 2021 Definitely a nice coin. It's in reasonable nick too. So that's a definitely a keeper for the bottom row. The Grousy Coin Hunt coins also lowly minted and hard to find the whole set. As I can attest, it took me two years to fill in a full book of that particular set. So this is the third roll, so after this roll we'll speed things up, but we still crack on. Go through the mob of Rose, it's 2009. Oh. And there we have the 100 Years of Anzac, The Spirit Lives. This is a series of coins from 2014 to 2018, 100 years of the First World War. This is the 2014 issue, which is the most highly minted of the whole series. So that'll go up as a common commemorative, but if we find any of the other years, we'll keep those because they are lower minted. And we'll have another crack at one of those. It's another 2014. And there from 1996 is the father of Federation, Sir Henry Parks. One of the early common commemoratives. Another year of the Outback. Another International Year of Peace. And at the end of the hunt, I will go through all of these knob of rules looking for the years of low mintage which is the years 1987, 89, 1990, 1991, 2007 and 2012. And there were years that with no mob of ruse issued into circulation. They were still put into sets, but not into circulation. So I'll keep an eye out for those. So that's our third roll down. So let's speed up the hunt a bit now. And then we can slow down when we find new coins for the day. mob of roos so this is a mob of roos from 2014 just over a million of those 1 million 52,000 uh, minted and put into circulation so that will be a keeper for the hunt the low minted 2014 mob of roos oh and there we have a memorial effigy a one dollar on the obverse here well this will be something from this year and this is an afl premiership season cup coin so one of the co-sponsored coins that came through the Australia Post and the Royal Australian Mint. So technically uncirculated, but definitely a low minted coin that we would look out for and would want to keep in our collections. And there we also have a 2019 Privy Mark coin. This is the 35th anniversary of the a mob of ruse in 2019 you'll see down there above the a in the word dollar is a square with the letter u in it that's a privy mark and so this is a low minted coin as well and that's going to go into my wider collection
from there, we have for the first time today the donation dollar, the green coloured one dollar coin with the, the denomination there on the obverse. This is from 2021, the second year of issue of the donation dollar. It's not a keeper for the collection, but I always put it out because I pull it out of circulation and I when I take it back, instead of taking it back to the bank, I take it to the charity shop or a charity drop, some kind of donation and make that as was intended for the donation dollar. There we have another memorial effigy with the $1 on the obverse for 2023. We'll see what that one is. Oh, it's the giant ram. This is from Wagga. I think it's from Wagga or Wogan. But it is another Aussie Big Things coin. And so definitely I'll be putting that up here with the other Aussie Big Things coin. So definitely starting to fill the book up. It's about time in my book that we started to see uh, those coming through. I haven't really seen very many of them. And the, that book's been out for now nearly two months. There's a 2,000 coin, and we usually look out for the 2,000 coin for the mule era. It's where the a obverse that was designed for the 10 cent piece was used instead of for the one dollar coin, and it makes an extra ring around them because the 10 cent piece is slightly smaller than the one dollar coin. This is just a standard one though, so I just wanted to stop and let everyone know that we look out for that one. For the first time, we see the Sir Charles Kingsford Smith from 1997 celebrating one of our pioneer aviators. Um, there we have 100 Years of Anzac. This one is not from 2014, it's from 2016. So it's slowly minted and it's definitely something that I'm going to be keeping in my wider collection. So it's gonna go down there on the keeper's row. there for the first time today we see the 2003 Australia's Volunteers Making a Difference. It's a lower minted coin and I usually pull it out if it's in good nick which this one particularly is so we'll keep that like that but we'll put it up there with the common commemoratives but at the end of the hunt I will put it pull it out and put it into my wider collection.
there for the first time today we have the centenary of girl guiding in australia 2010 makes a mini set with the 2008 centenary of scouting it's the first time we've seen that today so that'll go down on the common commemorative row and here we have another great aussie coin hunt coin the k for kelpie the great australian sheepdog working dog in 2022, the Great Australian Coin Hunt number three. So definitely a keeper for ooh, for the wider collection. Running out of room now down there, which is always good. And there for the last. Well, for the first time today, but within the last roll of the hunt, we have the 1988 Australia's Bicentennial Celebration coin. The Aboriginal inspired kangaroo. There we have it there on that row. And so as we go through this last roll, hope we have hopefully we have a little bit of last roll luck. We'll see how that goes. But We've done pretty good so far, actually, in this hunt. There's another not bad condition, 1999, but doesn't have a cut error like the other great condition one does. And again, another couple of 2016 coins, but not being the changeover. The Peace coin, a dancing man. Charles Kingsford Smith. Sir Henry Parks, it looks like we're getting all the oldies today in this last roll of the Peace Coin. Uh, International Year of Peace. Years of Anzac, it's all it's all happening here. I don't have very many in the other hand. And then we've got to end it out. It looks like a few mobs of roos, so that's fantastic. So that's a great hunt. A lot of uh, keepers for the wider collection down there on the bottom. What I'm quickly going to go and do now is go through all the mob of roos, looking for things of any note, and hopefully we might even find a changeover amongst those uh, coins that I didn't flip. But I'll be back in a sec to tell you if there's anything uh, else from today's hunt. Well, unfortunately, nothing new from the mob of ruse, nothing of any note, uh, but we do have keepers and some for the book today. So starting from this side of the uh, the row, we've got two 100 years of Anzac, the Spirit Lives from 2016. So nice low minted coins for the wider collection. They'll definitely go into the wider collection. We picked up a great Aussie coin hunt number a three, the uh, K for Kelpie there. Very nice looking coin. Also not in bad condition. Very, very nice. That'll go into the wider collection. We picked up a donation dollar from 2021. It was hard for me to get this one. It took a while to get into the book, but now we've been getting a few of them. So it looks like they're back, flooding back into uh, my area. Anyway, we have two U coins, two U Prove You Mark coins from the 35th anniversary of the $1 coin from 2019. Now there was another one of these amongst the uh, mob of ruse as well, but it was in dire condition and it was, I was never going to keep it, so that's gone back to the bank. Put that to the side. We picked up two of the AFL Premiership Cups. It's a bit of a double-double. Uh, we've got uh, the 2023 Memorial Effigy on both of those. Uh, and they all go into the wider collection at this point because they're a little bit low minted, not as low as the Great Aussie Coin Hunt, but low minted, just the same. So they're going to go into my wider collection. I picked up a 2014 Mob of Ruse, which is definitely a, a low minted coin. It's not in that great of a condition, and I'll have to review that uh, for keeping in the collection. It's a little bit dirty there, and so I'll put that to the side. I picked up a Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two. V for Victor Lawnmower. And so very nice pickup from the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two in 2021. Also for the wider collection, we don't see individually those uh, letters as much anymore. And we got two more for the book, the Aussie Big Things Collectibles folder, the Giant Ram from Wagga. 
and the giant koala from Dad's Wells Bridge. So two nice coins. So let's grab the uh, big Aussie things collectibles folder. We will open it up, see if there's anything on the uh, left-hand side. No, we've got the giant koala though on the top left of that side. So we'll try and keep that in the shot. We'll put it in in the right orientation and then the giant ram is the last coin there on that side so now we have four coins we have the giant ram the giant koala the giant murray cod and the big pineapple so four coins out of the ten still a few to go uh and we're uh, only a couple of weeks in of actually finding any coins out of that particular one but that's it for the hunt oh the last one i suppose i, I put it to the side but we have 1999 International Year of Older Persons with a card there amongst the uh, the circles. So that'll go into the wider collection and see how it goes. If you enjoy what I do, please subscribe to my channel, ding the bell, and uh, you'll get notified whenever one of my new videos comes out. And if you like what I do, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and leave a comment down below about what you're finding in your area. Are you finding Aussie Big Things coins in your area yet? Uh, but I'll be back for more noodling in a couple of days. So I'll see you then. Bye.